So here we are with the unit guys, we've taken out of the box and I've plugged it into power. So along the top you've got a bunch of different buttons uh, to operate the unit. Uh, the Bluetooth speaker is operated by the power button on the very top. Um, so if we turn, press that button, you'll see that it makes a noise and the Bluetooth symbol disappears. Turn it back on again and it appears. If you need to change the temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you just hold down the phone answer button and it changes it to Fahrenheit or Celsius. To activate or deactivate the alarm, you just press the alarm button there and you can change the time it's active for. If you hold it down, you can turn it off completely. Um, again, same sort of thing with the time. If you pressed uh, the gear at the top and then up or down, you can change the particular time. Uh, and I believe if you hold it down, we should be able to get to 12 or 24 hour time. Yeah, there we go. So it's that easy to get hooked up. Now a couple of other things that's got with it. Uh, the micro SD card is in the bottom of the unit, so it goes in just there. All we're going to do is take our micro SD card and push it all the way in, all the way around. So with the words facing towards the back of the unit until it clicks. That's it, it's installed. Now being that this unit does have an induction charging dock, if I was to place my phone on top, you'll see my phone will light up as well. And to play music through it, you simply go to your Bluetooth connection, same as you would for any other Bluetooth devices. Uh, connections, Bluetooth, and we're looking for 019BT, so I'll click on that. And then we're all connected, so phone and media now is all connected through it. I can then go to my music. Uh, da, 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 da. I can then go to my music, and if I wanted to, I can choose an album. And yeah, pretty decent quality out of it. Again, it's for a bedside, so you're not going to go too crazy with it, but it's that easy to get it all connected up and running. Um, what we will do is we'll just um, move a couple of things around. I'll show you how to get it connected to the ProRCAM app. Okay, guys, here we are with the setup part of uh, the video. So the first thing to make sure of is that you've got your ProRCAM app. We will leave a link to our detailed guide uh, in the video below. Um, that'll help you get even more set up and go through all the little nuances of the unit and specific settings that you can have set. So you want to make sure you've downloaded the ProRCAM app first of all. Once you've got that app, you want to go ahead to your Wi-Fi settings turn on your Wi-Fi and we're looking for YME2C9 so I'll click on that one and then I'm then waiting for the 4G to turn into the little Wi-Fi symbol once that's done I can go back to my app we've got all the other cameras here already in the store so then I can just simply press the plus in the circle in the top right add new online camera search LAN and there it is I'll press OK and you'll see it appear down the bottom here. So if I click on it, it'll prompt me to change the password. So the standard one is the number eight four times. Uh, for today's purpose and for most of our testing purposes, we suggest to keep it simple. So we're just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now if I click on it, we should get a dedicated feed from the unit and I'll be able to wave. Um, and we'll link some uh, actual video footage from the unit uh, in the video as well. If it doesn't load up the first time like this, don't panic. Simply hit back and then click on it again. And the second time is always the charm. So there is my arm, hand waving, um, and it's ready to go. One thing you might want to do from here is just change the resolution from 720 to 1080. Um, that's the highest resolution possible. So once you've got your live feed up, essentially you're connected to the camera. You then just want to click on the gear, device settings, um, and to hook it into your Wi-Fi network so you can monitor it wherever, whenever, you go to Wi-Fi config, select your network. So for me, it's Netgear 66. Do make sure you're not selecting a five gigahertz net network. It has to be a 2.4. So select your network. You'd put your network password in there. It would then say, camera's gonna reboot. I'll do it for you. And after about five minutes, you'll be able to log back into the app and have complete access to it. 
So it'll say camera reboot, okay. And then after about five minutes, I'd be able to turn my Wi-Fi off on my device. Uh, this Wi-Fi address now will get linked into the network that we're running in the store here. So I can turn my Wi-Fi off completely. I can then go back to the Pro ICAM app if I wanted to. It's probably too soon. So there, as you can see guys, now it's online. Again, if I click on it, it's got 4G at the top and there's my hand moving around. So, so like I said, it does take about five minutes for it to sort itself out. So do have a bit of patience with the Wi-Fi part of it. Um, and if you want any more info on the specific settings of your unit or how to customize it or anything like that, click in the video below. It'll go through a more detailed instruction guide on um, how the camera can be set up and how you can uh, change certain features of it. Once you know what you're looking for, like I said, it does take a bit of time, so you do need to have some patience um, to get it all set up. But yeah, that's how, that's how it works, that's how it looks, and it's as easy as that to get it going. Thanks for joining us, guys. I hope you got something out of it, and uh, we'll see you next time.